welcome to Crusader Kings 3, learning as we play or while we play. And, well, we're still doing a few things right now. Uh, we're trying to convert our home county, we're building up our home county, and we're trying to kill this man's child, this man's heir, to destroy this alliance which he has with his heir. Uh, to make him a more militarily viable target since we have a claim on this area here now. So that's on, on, on pause. Get an idea of what's going on. We're building up our home county as well. Trying to create things that create value for us. Building specifically here in this temple holding. Because due to our religious beliefs, we actually get a bonus. All right. So there's a dangerous faction now. The peasants have grown in uh, power and in discontent. So in 12 months, they can provide us with a ultimatum to either follow their claims or go to war. Speaking of war, our neighbor right now is at war. And let's see. He is defending against the peasant revolt over here. Interesting. Ah, yeah, with the Abbasids. All right, that's already done. It's it's good to have an eye on these things. Sometimes you can join or start a war right at the right opportunity, making them weak and you stronger. I'm a little bit worried about Parnas. That there are so many levies in here. We'll have to try and offset this. We need equally as many levies. But right now we want money coming in. Because money coming in means we can build more. Simple as that. And we can easily surpass this by building um, barracks once. Alright, the murder scheme is coming up. Overly talkative. While Atham's ability to make friends has proven invaluable in my scheme, he is not quite as careful around others as he should be. He's too fond of dropping vague hints, and if someone were to start asking questions, there's no telling what he would divulge. He's our spy master. Okay. The things he learns are too valuable to shut him up. Um, or we could tell him to keep... Complete silence, decreasing our scheme power. Mm. Let's see, maybe the target will talk to our agent. Nope, exposed. So now this is greatly at risk and a high chance things are not going to go well. We could try and invite someone new, like this man, Galip, who's a guest there. Um... He could be convinced with a bribe. A bribe of 55 gold, which is far too much. We're not going to do that. So, a new stewardship perk. We're going to go into administrator, which is just overall increasing uh, our abilities here. Plus one diplomacy, plus three stewardship, and plus five vassal opinion. After that, we're going to go somewhere here. Could be whatever, honestly. Uh, no demand payment for hooks. Oh, no, we can demand payment for hooks. Collect taxes if effectiveness goes up. Oh, this is this is nice. Building construction cost goes down. Oh, I think we might go for that. We'll go for architect next. <clears throat> because we're still investing into building. So, solid idea. Yeah, sometimes you make a choice and the choice just doesn't go the way you would like it to go. It happens. Should we bribe this man? No. It's not worth it. This guy is gonna die eventually. We're still gonna have the claim. He is much older than us. Oh, wait. Is he? No. Well, not that much older. <laughs> Just eight years. Who are you fighting? Peasant uprising. And... There is a holy war going on against you. Which... You are neither losing nor winning so far, but you're gonna lose it eventually. So our neighbors are being shrunken. 
It might happen to us too. There's no telling, really. Until we get a proper alliance going, we are in a really, really precarious spot here. Oh no, this place has gone now into the Abbasid hands. Oof. We could swear fealty to them, but since we are not of their religion, they are probably going to try and absorb us. We could then try and switch our religion. These are all options we have. Um, these are not good options, I tell you right now. All right, let's see. We could wait, or we could attempt the murder. Again, it's not—it's not good. It's probably not going to happen. We'll just—we'll just try. Um, yeah, he escaped it, and he is now watchful for two years. He hates us. <laughs> uh, yeah, everyone over there hates us now. Oops. What a shame. Don't really have enough troops there to do this. With our allies, yes. But it's not ideal. Alright, so now the peasants are coming up and they're like, Oh, how dare you? So let's have our first war against peasants. Um, and they raise themselves here. You set these little flags and we'll raise everyone here. It will take us a day to rally. And they have two armies right now. So this is ideal. We just march on them. We're gonna win. And this other army will catch afterward. Don't let them have time together. They are still much weaker because they don't have any men at arms, which gives you a huge advantage. But numbers can mean something. And, well, we just caught their leader. So this war is over. We will enforce our demands, pacifying the locals and ending this war in less than two or so days. And it was a slaughter at Kachan where we destroyed them. Uh, we barely lost 30 people. They lost 184. Actually, they lost more because the whole thing di disbanded. But there you go. We have some low control in various counties. We can use our marshal to try and improve that. It's not the worst idea because if you have low control, bad things might start happening in your counts, in, in your areas. Like, um, no, this was our, <laughs> our doing. But you could get bandits, stuff like that. And that's not, that's not super ideal. We could adopt her faith. Becoming orthodox. Allowing us to form bonds with the Byzantine Empire. Easier. It won't be a guarantee, but it's going to be easier. If we do that. So we'll keep that as an option. Sadly, we can't swear fealty to them because they are not a neighbor to us. And they don't have a claim on us. Otherwise, that, that would help. That would help greatly. I don't enjoy sitting right next to the Abbasid. It's just... They tend to be very expansionistic. They have a lot to go south and, and everywhere, but... Well... Holy wars are easy if you are the majority around. Not so much for us. Alright, we can soon build something again. We could build something cheaper already, but I'm holding out for uh, some barracks now. I want more levies, I want more men. Alright, so if we can't murder him, we, we can just try and murder him, you know? Oh. Can't try him. Oops. Mm. Hey, now what? We'll try. We can take the hit here. 
could hold a feast, go on a pilgrimage. Revive Greater Amenia. Well, that's quite quite a way away from us to start on. Um hmm. We'll hold back decreasing our plot power. I don't want to get a high stress level right now. Or anytime really. You, you want to avoid that. There are some perks that help you make it worthwhile. But it's not ideal. I don't want to risk it. Our allies are way too far away. Look at this. Until they get to us. Oh no, our scheme was exposed. Well, we might as well abandon it then. Um, boop. Let's abandon our scheme. Can't try that for a while. We are now known far and wide. These are not related events. Just by abandoning this, this didn't work. Um, but our renown level went up to insignificant. <laughs> well, it's, it's something, isn't it? This doesn't matter much. Again, I'm not going to go into any of all of these menus. I'm just showing you how I play this. And what choices I make and when. And th there's going to be options here which we might never actually look at. And that's okay. You don't have to. You don't have to know all these things. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. You can, you can play and enjoy. Oh, did you win? Huh. It appears... Nope, he didn't win. He lost. He lost a bunch. He lost this, I think. This was his before. And it no longer is. Shame. Big shame. Oh, we have a claim here. Oh, you know what? Don't mind if I do. I didn't notice this. Um, we have a claim on this thing. And we're gonna press it. Because they're smaller than us, we can walk this little bit into their territory, that's fine. And we're not even gonna need our allies. So again, we're just gonna raise all our army here. And then we're gonna start moving right in there. Our commander is okay, supply duration is plus 100%, so... Uh, let's talk about this a little bit. Your army starts with supplies. Which are gonna deplete uh, where you are in territory that you do not control. Territory that you control is either your own or of your ally. This guy here is neutral. We can walk past there, but he's not gonna supply us. Um, this is our enemy. They're not gonna supply us. But if we siege it and take the area, then the area we are taking will supply us again. An army will have attrition regardless of where they walk. If it's not on your territory and if it's in enemy territory. But it's going to be much worse in um, if you don't have enough supplies. So this here is just the battle view. Uh, we have the archers fighting in favorable terrain. Otherwise it's pretty balanced down here. Um, I, d I don't really care about this much. These are the battle phases. We're in the late phase. So it's being decided now. And now we're in the aftermath phase. And we have won. So a problem here has arisen. Um, we can't actually siege this. The fort level is too high. Well, we can, but it's going to take a whole lot of uh, time. So you can see we have a 1% attrition per month. This is what we're going to lose. And our supply is going to go down 1 per month. So we have 97 months to finish this siege. Now... Um, Every The progress is going to go up by 0 0.7 per day. And every 20 days there's a siege event which might speed it up or sl uh, lower it, uh, slower it. 
make it slower. So, let us look at this here. We can't really get another Man at Arms regiment right now, so we can't go for catapults or whatever. We'll go here. Um... We'll go this round. We want to reduce costs. So this will just take a long time. It will happen. Uh, this down here is our war score. And we need to reach somewhere around 100%, ideally 100%, to get uh, the war score where we can start enforcing our demands. White piece is if you are kind of winning, but you also want to stop again. His army might attack us again. Which isn't too bad for us because that might increase our war score again. But there are sometimes limits on how much you can get uh, out of a single type of event for any given type of war. So, uh, for example, pressing our claim here, we might only get up to 50% war score from fighting battles. Um, even if we win way more. Oh no, our friend and adventurer and command and everything was wounded in the battle. That's horrible. It's not good. So right now there's rampant disease. Which isn't good. I don't know for whom. F for whom is the rampant disease? It doesn't say. Oh no, we are ill. Oh boy. Um... Okay, let's, let's try and find a court physician now. So they're going to search the lands for someone who is capable of being a court physician. And they present us with these two choices. Bazelios, 46, and Elnaz, 24. So both of these are going to be okay choices. Um, he's cheaper but worse. She is better but more expensive. We're going to go with the younger one, who is also better. So, Elnas, please save me. And do no more than what is necessary, because... Well... We are quite ill, but... We don't want to risk anything. And... She has... Lowered her hand into a bucket she brought to my chambers. When she pulled it out again, a little fish was wriggling between her fingers. Open wide, she said, and dropped it in my mouth. I struggled not to retch as it tickled the back of my throat. Whatever it was in that fish turned out to be just what I needed. For now, the worst of my symptoms are alleviated and the world seems a little bit brighter. So, uh, we have this. So, we get a huge health boost fighting off the disease symptoms for a year. That's good. He's going to keep hitting us, which does lower our combat effectiveness as our men keep dying in these battles. I mean, we do win, and it does keep giving us combat score. But here you can see it now. So battles won is plus 69%, but the score is capped to 50%. Because to win this, we need to take the land we're coming for. Oh, we're no longer ill. Very good. So we'll just have to wait for the siege to finish. It's nothing we can do. Even if he keeps attacking us, even if a war score should go higher from winning all those battles, it's not gonna. He is brutally mauled and one eyed. Oh, Lord. Still teaching our boy. Oh, nope. He's no longer teaching our boy because he just died in battle. Uh, that's suboptimal to the highest degree. Um, we could give it to him. He's a desert warrior and a tough soldier. So he's. But he's still better. Well, let's give it to him. It's not ideal, but what can you do? We might go ahead and look for a hill specialist. 
How much does it cost us? Some prestige and some gold. We'll do it. Oh, and there he is. Um, and we want this man to command our army immediately. Thank you. And we also want you to educate our boy. There. Go ahead. So this was worth it. Uh, the gold wasn't too much. The prestige doesn't matter for who we are. or Well, it matters, but it doesn't matter enough to worry about it. We can call a hunt, which we're going to do because we're quite stressed. So he just keeps hitting us. It's... Well, what else would you do in defense of your country, right? Uh, this hunting trip has been less fruitful, uh, less than fruitful so far. And some of our party appear to have given up completely or attempting at making the best of a lovely day outside. But what on earth is my vassal Mamigon doing? He's crouched down on the ground. Humming cheerfully. My lord, look! There are so many useful herbs and flowers here. This one can soothe aches, while well, this one aids in the recovery of a broken finger, and this one said to ward off the love of pox. Um, fascinating. Are you practicing witchcraft, my boy? Uh, yeah, I mean, tell me more. Tell me more about plants. So we're doing well on supply. We're doing well on manpower. Oh no. Ah, that's terrible. <sighs> okay, so the guy we had the claim against lost what he had, so we can't press it anymore. So we have to start a new war. For the same thing against a different dude, but it's fine. He has 69 people right now. So, we'll just go there again. It's not ideal because we lost all that siege progress. But this can happen. It just can happen. So our current uh, leader will definitely win. Because he's really good in the rough terrain here. And he is an offensive specialist. Plus, you know, numbers are also a matter. Our wife is pregnant once more. We sadly do not regain the siege progress from the last siege. It's just what it is. So he's trying to reconstitute some forces there, but it looks like he's only getting a knight. Not even that. So there's... Oh, well, there. There's this one knight. You can see how it's one knight and one soldier. There's, yep, it's a high quality army because it's just one knight, but um, one knight against 696 is just, it's, it's not going to cut it, I don't think, I really don't think that's going to do it. So you roll with the punches in Creator Kings 3, we are already at 50% because we won that one battle and he doesn't have more armies to give. So we're done with that amount of war score. So now we get this, it's going to be done. And we just have to be patiently waiting here. We are well supplied. And for some reason the supplies are not going down either. No idea why. Does it get a bonus on that as well? No. No. No, he actually doesn't. He's just overall good. So let's check ourselves. You can press F1 to get to this screen. Uh, it's nothing important, really. Nothing interesting going on here. We have a bunch of unpressed claims which will not be inherited. This one would have been inherited, even if we didn't press it. But that's the only one we can press right now. Given our relative strength. We're weakening ourselves with this, but, you know. Alright. Philippa. Another daughter for us. 
Let's see. Can't... Oh, she's a dwarf. Happens. We cannot get any alliances, so, you know, we'll just go with good, powerful stuff. You can get these people into your court that way. Um, or keep them in your court. And if you, if you take this guy here and change his education focus to Marshall, uh, we get potentially another, another good knight that will help us later on. Oh, very good. Okay, so our son is done. He became a tough soldier and he got the aggressive attacker's trait. It's not good. It's just two out of, I think, five maximum star. So it's not great yet, but he needn't be. That's fine. He has all these claims, which are his implicitly. And he will now just, you know, grow, become older. Wiser, stronger, faster, fitter. All those things. Oh no. Our counselor died. A steward we lost. Um, our commander at night. He's 10. We'll, we'll give it to our son. He's gonna earn a little bit of money out of it. So that's okay. Let's see. Corrupt tax collector. Good. Great. I've noticed various inconsistencies and omissions in the tax records for Hereti. It is clear that these errors cannot be simple mistakes. Someone has been embezzling funds. Unfortunately, the trail of this mysterious culprit is erratic enough that it is difficult for me to determine exactly which tax collector is responsible. So we could investigate dis discreetly, but it's unlikely we manage it. Um, assume direct control over taxation in Hereti, which... Increases the control, which we probably want. Uh, so we're going to do that. We're not going to... No, we're not going to execute everyone to, to accomplish this. So the siege is almost done. And after this war, we're going to have to wait and, and just reconstitute our troops. Let them replenish. And there we go. So we won this war now. We will enforce our demands. And we have taken this and we will disband our armies. Now, um, nothing here is all that interesting except the low control in the new county. So we'll take our man here. Uh, okay, we, we can't increase control. Because there are no valid targets. Now there are. So we'll send him here to increase control. Please do that. And um, if we check our succession again. We're going to see that upon succession we're going to lose two titles. These two up north. We can't give him the title now. We cannot give him that. We could give him anything else he's entitled to anyway. But we can't give him the titles that he's not going to inherit. Uh, so we can't take it away like this. Uh, by the way, we got some gold out of the siege, which is also nice. Um, yeah, right now this is kind of useless to us. But that's alright. We are building our strength at home. Or at least we're trying to. Next time we have got enough gold, we'll increase our levies here. And you can already see 140. This is probably also going to go up to 140. Our brother is not going to be much of an issue. Ooh, yes. Less construction time. Quicker buildings. More faster stuff. Could increase this. And I think we shall. So why are we not earning exactly what we earned before the war right now? It's simple. Because at this point in time... Who do we put in? He hates us, so that's not good. I'll put him in. He's halfway competent. Um, so at this point of time, our men-at-arms and our levies and everyone are replenishing from the last war. Uh, so this costs us gold until they are replenished again. Uh, then they get back to maintenance and we become 
more income rich once more. Our cash flow is positive again. So this was war for you. Both the good and the bad outcome. Well, the good we won it eventually and got what we came for. Oh no, our neighbor was just absorbed by the other sins. Oh no, oh boy. All right. So nowhere to go for us but over there. Oh no. Um, yeah. Time to uh, do this again. Please get us some... Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, this was war. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Again, we're not going to look into everything. We're just going to deal with things as they come up. Try to figure things out. And yeah, try to survive in a very harsh and unforgiving and dangerous world. Hope to do that together with you next time again. Until then, bye-bye.